As far as we know, it's the only home to life in the universe. Why? What is it that makes our planet so special? The answers are hidden deep in the Earth's past. To find them, we must travel back in time to see the first humans walk the Earth, to ride continents on a collision course, face killer dinosaurs, dive into oceans full of bizarre life forms, feel the bitter chill of global ice ages, and experience the fury of cosmic missile attacks. We must travel back in time until we reach the birth of the Earth itself. Then we can piece together our planet's incredible story and discover why all of this, all of us, are here. has cooled to around 70 or 80 degrees, just enough to form a crust. In the future, we could swallow this water when we take a drink. Every sip, every puddle, every drop of water in every ocean is billions of years old. And it may have traveled millions of kilometers to reach us, carried inside a meteor. these chemicals have come together to create life. The water is now full of microscopic organisms. These single-celled bacteria are the earliest forms of life on Earth. This is a defining moment in the making of the planet. Now, 540 million years ago, in an ocean full of oxygen, those primitive bacteria have evolved. A handful must have clung on through the big freeze. There are plants everywhere. And something else. It looks like some kind of armored slug. It's called Wiwaxia. It's one of a new generation of complex, multi-celled organisms. We're entering one of the most dynamic periods in the Earth's story. The Cambrian Explosion. Increased oxygen levels allow creatures to grow larger and develop bony skeletons. There are worms sponges and these they're trilobites distant relatives of insects lobsters even scorpions life in the oceans is blossoming Three hundred and seventy five million years ago. There's something down there in the water. It's moving, swimming.
It's a strange fish called a tiktalic. Its neck allows it to raise itself up. It uses its fins as if they're legs. And moves out of the water where plant life is exploding. Over 15 million years, these creatures called tetrapods evolve. They grow stronger limbs and spend more time out of the water until 360 million years ago they make the land their home the dinosaurs these dinosaurs are called amasaurs like all dinosaurs, they've evolved from the handful of reptiles that survived the Permian extinction. At four and a half meters tall, their size makes them slow and vulnerable. Montreal moves away from Marrakesh. New York from West Africa. The world as we know it is taking shape. The chasm between the two continents fills to create a vast ocean. The Atlantic. And there in the middle, a volcano. We've seen plates move before. We know it's caused by currents deep beneath the Earth's crust. This process is happening down there, right now. Nothing on Earth can challenge their dominance. Nothing. a lump of space rock, a large one. This asteroid is about 10 kilometers across, bigger than Mount Everest. And it's traveling at over 70,000 kilometers an hour straight towards the Earth. It's heading for the Gulf of Mexico, just off the Yucatan Peninsula. It travels so fast blink and we'd miss the impact unless we slow down time it's a split second that will change the world forever at the moment of impact the asteroids back edge is still at nearly 11,000 meters the same height as a commercial aircraft flies asteroid strikes with such immense force it destroys everything it hits even the asteroid itself instantly vaporizes the impact unleashes
unleashes the energy of millions of nuclear weapons. Nowhere is safe. Not even way up here. Some of these boulders are as big as entire city blocks. Against this onslaught, it's hard to see how anything can survive. The dinosaur's 165 million year reign is over. A man and child. It could be a scene from our own time. But it's one and a half million years ago. These are an early species of human, called Homo erectus. And these are the first footprints like our own. Civilizations past and present. Everyone that's ever lived. The greatest inventions, the most brilliant ideas. Human history, in all its complexity and splendor, begins here and now. After a four and a half billion year journey, we've made it. We're back home. This is our world, our time. Now, for the first time, we can piece together our planet's incredible story. We can understand how and why everything we see around us is here today. From the skies above us, to water, the essential ingredient for life. The ground beneath our feet. And finally, life. The spectacular result of a chain of catastrophes and coincidences. Each triumph, each disaster, is a step on the trail that leads to here. To each and every one of us, right now. But Earth's story doesn't end here. A lot has happened, but there's more to come. The Earth will live for at least another four and a half billion years.